Good day people, I am the Glute, and this is a speedrun guide for LEGO Batman the video game. Today we're taking a look at the story mode of level 2-3, Under the City. Before we jump into the guide, you need to know that the way we speedrun this game changes all the time. The LEGO speedrunning community continues to find new strats, tricks and glitches, and because of that portions of this video may be outdated. I suggest checking the description below, where you can find links to speedrun.com leaderboards and current world record videos. This tutorial will consist of two parts. First, I'll guide you through the main route we currently use, and then I'll show you some of the most useful backup strats you can learn and promptly use in case something goes wrong. And with that being said, let's jump to room 1. We can skip pulling the lever and jump straight onto the ladder using the small trash bin right next to it. Take the suit and detonate the bomb using the battle rank. This section used to give me a lot of trouble when I first started running this game. Running at full speed, jump onto the purple container on the right and immediately double jump aiming at the corner. You need to do this with a running start, otherwise Batman will slide off. Build the pump and jump on it 5 times. 5 jumps is just enough to bring the water level down so you can walk on it without triggering the cutscene. Place a bomb and detonate it holding the action button. Apparently batarangs don't work underwater. This part of the level is pretty self-explanatory. Most of what you see is movement optimization. You can skip half of the metal plate, as well as save bits of time by utilizing the extended plate. To break the game sequence, we need to take Light Suit with us to the next room. Build the gears and perform extended flight to get to the lever. You can use the curves for extra height. Once the stairs are fixed, Bunny jumps to this platform and perform extended flight all the way to the ladder. Jump up the ladder for some precious time save. Killer Croc has the smallest invincibility window of all bosses in the game. As long as you don't mash the attack button, the flight should go smoothly. While you wait for his attack cycles to end, you can jump into the toxic waste a couple of times to get rid of all the stats you collected. This saves a bunch of frames on the post-level screen, since the game doesn't show the coin section of your stats. I forgot to talk about this in my basic techniques video, for which I sincerely apologize. This small time save applies to all levels. Some of the discovered strats aren't used in the main route, be it because of their difficulty, consistency or speed. Here's a showcase of strats that didn't really make the cut. If you can't perform the trash bin jump, you can perform one of those two wall jumps to get to the lever. 
Here is a very interesting way of getting through this section. Planting the bomb first gives you enough time to perform the rest of the strat, with the bomb exploding just in time you run out to the vault door. Remember that there is no going back once you plant the bomb. One false move and you'll be forced to go through this room the way devs intended. It is possible to skip this section entirely by performing extended flight from the column all the way to the other side. Well, this is the quickest way to get through this part, it is also the least consistent way, as it not only requires nearly flawless extended flight, but also a lot of luck with the landing. You see, we're still not sure how the fence clipping works, but the research shows that you get pushed up only when you land on certain spots, on the posts or very near them, or on the part where the chain touches the ground, as shown in the clip provided by Loss. I tried that for like 3 hours and, well, this is the best I got. Since my flight absolutely sucks, I tried to jump my way up the posts, and it looks like with a lot of luck and precision it may actually be possible. Here, if your flight isn't good enough to reach the ladder, you can always use the other side of the platform. And that's all! If you're interested in speedrunning this or any other LEGO game, or if you have any questions about the guide, leave a comment down below or check the description for the LEGO speedrun Discord server, where you can chat with me and other LEGO speedrunners. If you found this video helpful, please return the favor and leave a thumbs up so others can find it easier. Thanks for watching and good luck with your runs! Anyone else want to go? <laughs> there I was, holed up in this quarry. When Batman came nosing around, he was getting closer, closer. And? I threw a rock at him.